So I officially started on a new medication yesterday. I am on 20 milligrams of Vyvanse for inattentive ADHD. Um, for those of you who are new here, I have cerebral palsy, generalized anxiety disorder, um, major depressive disorder, and ADHD. In this channel, I mostly talk about my experience with different medications and mental health and um, career and life updates. I mean, a little bit of everything, really. Um, but this video is mostly a medication update. As many of you may or may not know, I was previously on 100 milligrams of Zoloft for the depression and anxiety, and um, I want to say 30 or 40 milligrams of Ritalin. I can't really remember, but I was on that for a couple months, um, but I kind of accidentally weaned myself off it when I got really sick and just kept forgetting to take my medication. So I went two months without any medication. Um, the Ritalin was uh, making my anxiety worse. It was making me a lot more tense and jumpier than usual. And um, in my other videos, you'll see that I mentioned that I tend to um, tend to scare really easily. I tend to jump for pretty much no reason at all, like a chain, a change in tone of voice. Or if I see someone off the corner of my eye, I you know, and I wasn't expecting it, I will jump. If somebody comes up to me and kind of gently pats me on the back, I will jump. Um, pretty much anything, and I think it may be related to the cerebral palsy, but the thing is that I was I was suspecting that the stimulant, so the Ritalin, was, it was helping with my focus, but it was also making my anxiety worse, and the Zoloft had a bad effect of uh, making me gain weight, so I gained like over 30 pounds. So anyway, I came off those two medications, and I have been off medication for over two months. Um, and then I saw my psychiatrist yesterday and told her I wanted to start on something to help with the inattentive ADHD and with the symptoms, which um, are really getting in the way of... Um, especially school, because I'm in the last month of my undergraduate um, semester. So I'm a senior now, and I'll be graduating next month. And I was really struggling to kind of stay focused and uh, get work done and constantly forgetting things. So I have tried a bunch of different medication for my inattentive ADHD. I've tried Wellbutrin, Stratera, Ritalin, um, You'll see them all in my channel. I've reviewed and talked about them all. And so today's the second day on Vyvanse, 20 milligrams. Um, and I I mean, I, I was able to get some work done today um, without procrastinating too much. So that's a good thing, I guess. Um, I am a graphic designer, so I work from home. I have like pending t-shirts. Um, orders and and other things that I have to ship out, which I did. I also work part time as a reading specialist, um, an in home reading specialist, and I'm going to school full time. And then I have a son who is eight year old, eight years old. So um, I kind of have a lot of things going on. So I kind of need to be able to focus and sit down and do the things that I need to do. And so that's what I'm looking for in a medication when it comes to ADHD. This is my first time trying Vyvanse. Um, um, but this is only the second day and I'm already starting to be jumpier than usual, which was the same issue I was ha having with the Ritalin, which is not surprising because they are both stimulant medication and that tends to amp up your nervous system and kind of uh, stimulate that fight or flight, flight response. So I think with most or all stimulant medications, you're going to have that um, that side effect of maybe your anxiety uh, being kicked up a notch. So I'm starting to kind of realize that. Um, so I wonder if I can get on a different medication that can kind of counterbalance that, where I can still get the cognitive effects, uh, the cognitive benefits of the uh, Vyvanse medication, but also something to kind of soothe and 
calm my anxiety so that I'm not always so high strung and nervous and that I can live like a semi normal life. Right. So right now, um, I'm not really focused too much on treating the depression or anxiety. It's there, but at least right now it's manageable. If my anxiety gets worse, I may start back up on Zoloft or maybe try a different antidepressant because Zoloft, uh, like I said, does tend to have that effect on me where it causes uh, weight gain. Um, and I'm just not, not, not a fan of it because I just, I need to go down to my normal weight. Uh, at least that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to do the keto diet with my mom for the past couple of weeks to see if that helps any with the weight control issue. Um, either way, um, the my psychiatrist said that she would start me off on a low dose of Vyvanse, so that's why she started me on the 20 milligrams. And then I have a an appointment with her. Usually it's once a month to kind of check in and see uh, what's going on with that. So I do have an appointment with her in a couple of weeks. And she said if, if I felt like I needed to kind of amp up the dose or increase it or whatever, then we could do that, gradually increase the dose to one that worked for me. Um, I do know that Vyvanse is a slow release medication. So from my understanding is you take it in the morning and it may take an hour or maybe more to really kick in and start working. Um, I haven't found that to be an issue yet, but then again, this is only the second day. I typically take it around 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, my first class is at 9.30, and my son is currently on spring break, but when he goes back in a couple of weeks, I have to be up earlier, so I have to be up by 7, so... Um, when that happens, I'm going to start taking the medication earlier, obviously. Um, it's probably a good idea to take it with food because I didn't take it with food the first time and it made me, it made me feel a little, a little weak. Um, but I was able to go to the gym and work out even though I hadn't eaten any breakfast and I took the pill, went straight to the gym and I found that I had more energy to do the workouts that I wanted to do um, and um, worked out harder than I normally do. So I mean, I think that's a good sign, right? Um, because a lot of the times when I'm at the gym, I'm just, a lot of the times I don't want to get started on a certain workout or if I want to lift weights or whatever, I'll sit there and scroll through my phone and it's like, what am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be lifting weights or doing whatever. I'm not like a gym rat or anything. I just um, recently started trying to go to the gym to um, try to work off some of this extra weight that I've put on um, because of the medication. And since I also have cerebral palsy, I have to try and stay active or more active than most people because my muscles tend to atrophy and I just want to kind of stay on top of that. And I tend to go to the gym on and off throughout the year. I'm not very consistent um, and I'm trying to stay consistent this time, um, not just for my physical health, but also for my mental health because it's got like a plethora plethora of benefits that come with working out that not only help with anxiety, but also with depression, even with the symptoms of ADHD. I mean, there's tons of research out there um, that talks about the benefits, but I've just never been able to stick with going to the gym, you know, because I always thought of it as like just a really painful, annoying chore that I have to do. Like, why would someone subject themselves through putting themselves through that pain that your muscles feel when you've been running for so long or lifting weights, right? It's like you're putting yourself through voluntary torture. That's how I thought of it anyway, and that's how it kind of still feels, but I just kind of have to try to remind myself that um, the mental and physical and emotional benefits of going to the gym 
uh, in the long run are definitely worth it. Um, and I'm kind of rambling on uh, now, so sorry about that. Um, I will try to come and update once a week, but uh, life has been really, really busy because um, I mentioned that this is the last month before I complete my bachelor's degree. I'll be graduating next month, so uh, it's been a little busy with uh, schoolwork, presentations, exams, and all of that, but I'm going to try to stay consistent and start uploading again um, at least once a week.